Alright, and I'm back just like I promised I would be, and up we go to go show Balthazar how to play this game. So, what is uh, it? Balthazar is in a monastery full of monks. Uh, Without doubt. That can be a bit annoying in some ways, but really, you know, it's it's not that big of a deal. So, let's go help Nelson out. I wait I'm sure we won't be ambushed along the way by annoying parties. Oh, actually. You know, let's. Oh, what's happening? Oh, we're getting attacked by mercenaries. Here. I agree. Yes, I will do my best. I will do my best. Nope, totally yes. wrong. Okay, we're coming up here for a second. It will be done. Let's just pop in here. Derp. And Certainly. we've got the silver and bronze pantaloons. I'm gonna go find the the item code for the golden pantaloons, and I'll be right back. Alright, actually, viewers, I crashed my game, but that's fine. Misc 45. Uh, no. Was it 47? Aha! The golden pantaloons. Okay, so... We have all three yes, of the pantaloons here. Let's terrifying. talk to this guy. I swear! I have what I need now. Golden pantaloons. Alright. Pantaloon Ergo Magical Transmorgifier right now. Okay. Fine. Okay. What are you gonna do with pants? We can't even equip pants. Like, seriously, there's no there's no pant equipment slot. There's no there's nowhere for us to put this. Like, you're wasting your time, bro. 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 You, oh, you wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? A uh, power pantaloon battle armor. Okay. Okie dokie. So for doing that, we get a big metal unit. Um. Yeah, this is interesting if you read it. Long story short, it makes your armor class good. Really, really, really good. Um, it, it, there are some problems with it. What is I'll it? I'll demonstrate Certainly. them up here. Let's see. Without so, doubt. first off, while this is really good for your armor class, I believe it takes your weapons away. So, when you attack, you attack with uh, your punches, I think. I think. I could be mistaken. Uh, also, it makes you the size of an adamantite golem. Speak. So there are a lot of places that you can't go. Some sort of elaborate sundial. Wow. Sorry, totally distracted. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of pointless. Uh, it it comes with some some interesting things. You get pulse ammunition. Basically, you can get ammo for this gun. What's this? Oh yeah, you can get ammo for this big metal rod. You have to have this equipped in order for this to be functional, I believe. Could it be shall wrong, be. But I'm pretty sure that's how things go. And, uh, yeah, so it's really interesting. I don't think I'll ever need to use it. I think my armor class is low enough. Maybe I'll use it on the boss of the game just as a sort of troller thing, but, eh, not right now. Let's see. Put all three of those there. And, yeah. Yes. All right, so that's... That's what that's about. If you import a character from Baldur's Gate 1 that had the golden pantaloons in their inventory, you can take advantage of that. Uh, I didn't, so I guess, you know, since I had to cheat the item in, it would be cheating if I did that. And also, it's totally unnecessary to do that. You will fall by my hand! It's a worthwhile use of your time. Yep, uh, as you can see here, these monks are not really a threat to us. Why aren't you shooting? I shall not yield. Well, yeah, the 
monks have a lot of HP, though, so that's pretty annoying. And they have nothing of value, so... Don't bother trying to find anything. Okay. Okay. Based on yourself. Get interrupted. Oh, the wizard spells got to see. There we go. Every time we cast the spell, life gets easier. Around this point in the game, you start to uh, really just get out of control here. And you can see, though, that there are limits, we're going to hear them. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. You. Yeah, thank you. need to do that. What is my task? Yeah, it's the fire support up here, I guess. Maybe we can play another game. I'm gonna go see if there's any any loot of value on these guys. I don't believe there is. But I'll be right back. I'll also probably want to. All right, we're back. I leveled up. Uh, interesting story. Her Thaco is finally below zero. And with that, it still is barely below zero. Yeah, I don't know. Blade versus Scald. Yes. Questionable, but... Oh, oh boy. Wow. This here might not be advisable. What is it? Certainly. Now. What is it? It will be done. Oh, wow. What is it? Let's see. How many instances Speak. of time stop do I have? That's all I really care about. So, up we go. I trust all his oh, it's him! Destroy him in the name of all of his righteous! Yeah. Yes. Nothing righteous about what's going on here. Just show me. Yes. Tell you. But the good news is. There aren't really a lot of spellcasters in this area, which means that you don't have a lot of worry down here. And can make things pretty nice, at least in my opinion. And is this go on forever until we go find Simon Varian? It's kind of like it Consider it done. I shall not fall before you. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the smuggler cave here. To battle! Really? Victory! Yes, it wow. will be done. Actually, that was uh, a pretty savage beating for my my archer there. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. And uh, remember, viewers, if I get an opportunity to kill Simon Haverian, it's happening. So let's see what happens. I speak your mind. Okay. I must be cursed to keep running into you. We could rehash our differences. Okay. Uh, I'd rather stand still and let me kill you now. I owe you for my unfortunate rudeness. Even... Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. You've got to get inside this monastery. I promise nothing more than that. Okay. You want to come with me? Right. He, yeah, so Balthazar hates this guy so much that he literally put wards in place that would, uh, that would prevent Simon Haverian from from coming through. What's this other way? Okay. Okay. I 
Fahid. Oh, where did he go? What is my task? You motherfucker. I okay. What is it? So I I couldn't successfully kill him. Sir oh well, I don't feel like screwing around with him anymore. Oh, he gets my blood boiling, viewers. Uh, basically, you can he can uh, disguise you and get you right next to Balthazar if you want, but you must I don't care. It's not worth it. We are instead going to come in here, will be done. and uh, that's what all of these things were for earlier, uh, apparently. On my own, I will so do my let's best. Let's see. Can we get up here yet? Come on. There we go. Derp. Oh, look. Ow, my body. Ah. Uh, icicle trap, huh? Right. Okay, we found the door. Now let's go find Fahid. I don't yes. really remember where he is. But it won't take us long, viewers. Let's see now. On Kethra. Maybe Without over here? Doubt. Doop. Oh boy. Uh, some mercenaries, how you doing? How are you doing? Will be done. I hope our establishment's to your liking. Okay, here's I got Saki. some cheap beer for you. Ask a few questions. Ah, nah, forget it. Sleeping man, sleeping woman. Speak, yes, certainly. Yeah, sorry for not remembering where these guys are. I usually go the other Without way for doubt. simplicity's sake, but I felt like trying this path out. Uh, I know it certainly isn't going to be a threat to me. I await That's for freaking sure. Uh, up we go. I agree. It's not in here, is it? I thought that other guy was some wizard with a different name than Psyche. Lazarus Liberius. Liberius. Hmm. Oh, maybe he's in this tent. Actually, he pretty much has to be in this tent or I'm screwed. Let's see. Majira what is and it? Alright. Quick save. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Simon Haverian told me. Okay. I'm looking to kill Balthazar myself. You have far more powerful more power than I. Oh, that's my goal. Balthazar is a dead man. Speak. Yep. I guess we'll spare those poor poor peasants there. They were Certainly. willing to uprise against the guy I have to kill for quest related reasons, so that's good enough for me. Let's head on over Without here. Doubt. Hop to it. Bam. In we go. Well, in we try to go. Now, uh, supposedly this place is full of undead. We'll see. We'll see. What what full of undead be means, I'm not quite sure. Oh, wait, maybe he meant... Maybe he meant that little room right there, specifically. Yes? Ah. What is it? Well, in that case, this is going to be Speed. a joke. Uh, yeah... Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, that's that's pretty much yes. it. Yes. That's what I like about this game a lot. Minimal pre-buffing required. Actually, is none is required. But, uh, yes, it shall be. make life a lot easier. Oh, well, fine. Your presence here shows me how foolish I have been in gathering my army of mercenaries. I truly regret my wasted efforts at the expense of Amcatherine's citizens. I am the child of a god. Do you really think your pathetic army could stop me? Alright. I have plotted their destruction. I see. Melisande Melisande recognized the, the taint of Baal within me, just as she recognized she lured me with promises of power and glory, but I followed her for a different reason. 
Only by joining the five could I discover who the others were. So you were. use me to betray the demise. other ball spawn for your own ends? Melisan is the puppet master pulling your strings in this staged production. I have merely tried to stay out of your path for as long as possible, anxious to see if you would prevail. Uh-huh. Though she and I remain at odds. Bull's taint is an evil blight upon the world. Okay. Once I am certain I am the last, once I know there are no others, I will perform a ritual suicide. Ball's evil will die with me, but first I must end your evil existence. Ha! <laughs> but, well, actually, I am kind of evil. I guess I shouldn't say that, huh? Well, uh, yeah, How you're many a hypocrite. Bodies have you left in your wake? Hundreds? Thousands? Oh, thousands, Sarah for sure. Is a smoking waste. How many other cities and towns have you brought destruction raining down upon? What? What? Yagashura was attacking that town before I even got there. I'm death incarnate. Fuck it. And as your power grows, so shall the ruin sown in your passing. Kingdoms will fall and the rivers of Faerun will run with blood. Uh, based on my Further possible conversation future? Is pointless. Give me a I have a task which I must complete. You're an ass. Your death yes. is a necessity. Okay, you know what though, bro? You know what you can't handle? Yeah, you can't handle this. Oh, he's, uh, he's immune to time stop. Well, I never knew that. There you go. He was going to town on my main dude, but... Help him. Oh well. The greatest of the ball spawn, the five, have been destroyed, Godchild. Nearly all Ball's essence has been Melisande. The one you know as Melisande is not. The dead god Ball has not been resurrected. You must understand what awaits you at the end of your journey, Godchild. Okay. And for this, I am here. Speak quickly. You are here at my sufferance, spirit. You will answer our question. I am no dead thing. You have called a piece of a living goddess to you. However, you have. Should I become aware of what you have done, you will pay dearly. You are no goddess yet, mortal. The prophecy has not come to fruition. It will soon enough. Everything has happened as I wished it, and this will be no different. All of Ball's essence will be mine. Then explain yourself. If you are correct, it shall make no difference in the end. True enough. So be it. Ah. My name is Amelison the Black-Hearted, High Matriarch and greatest death stalker of my Lord Murder's Ballist Temple. Twas I who led all the chants in his holy name. It was I who harbored his avatar when the Lord of Murder was cast down to walk among us in the time of troubles. To his greatest priestess did he come for succor. To my most trusted death stalker did I entrust the secrets of my resurrection. One of his priesthood needed to have access to the essence that would be collected from the ball spawn. One of his priesthood would have to perform the necessary rites to give the dead Lord of Murder back that essence. And so, Great Lord Baal entrusted that duty to me. After his death, I alone retained access. And so you have betrayed me, Amelison the Blackhearted. The time draws nigh, and yet you perform no rites. That is correct. Remain dust, my foolish god. It was I who created the Five, loosed the gods spawn at each other's throats all the while promising those fools that they would serve at Ball's right hand. Well, they can, in limbo for all I care. Wow, what a bitch. It was I who masqueraded as the protector of Ball Spawn, herding the ones that the Five could not find to their doom. I led the last Ball Spawns to Seredush and had them slaughtered. No, that's true. I knew that Illocera would perish against your might, but I did not expect you to show up quite so soon. Still, you proved a fortunate arrival. Getting rid of one of the Five without it looking like my doing was one thing. Hmm, but with you already in Saradouche, I could turn you on Yagashura as well. After I let him into Saradouche to kill the other Ballspawn, of course. 
Of course. And then you turned on the rest of those paranoid fools while I distracted them. The five were the last thing I had to deal with before I could become the Lady of Murder myself. Yeah, you've taken you my rightful I place. Have most of the essence of Ball under my control, fool. I am nearly a goddess. I control the entire abyssal realm that was once Baal's, all of the throne of blood. Do you dare come and face me there? Or shall I have to hunt you down like the sorry dog? Then I wait. Let's see how the pro- Enough. A battle here will solve nothing. Your course is set, Godchild. Return to your pocket plane, and when you are ready, you will need to end its existence. Then you will be with a- she is not yet done taking the essence of Ball's children. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, Melson's a dirty traitor. And that sucks. She... Fighting her is super <coughs> annoying. More so than anything else. It's just super annoying. Uh, apparently there are still a few bucks left in this place. Well, sucks to be them, pretty much. What is Let's what is see, do they have anything of value? I'm trying to remember if, if our boy here had anything of value. Yeah, look at this. Like, what kind of what kind of super loot is this, man? This is just disappointing. But, Speak. Oh well. Certainly. What can you do, viewers? You must gather your party before venturing. Go. Wait, we don't need to come here. So at this point. Uh, I think this is probably when you're supposed Without to do doubt. the Watcher's Keep, but nah, nah, it's over here. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that that makes perfect sense, actually. I think this is when theoretically you're supposed to do Watcher's Keep because it has Demogorgon, and uh, it is worth mentioning that Demogorgon is almost certainly more difficult than uh than Melisande. Well. I don't know, Melisande's got an annoying fight, I more so than touch. anything. Not really... Speak. Yes, not yes. really... I don't know. It's, it's just more difficult. That's that's the long and short of it. Whether it's it's harder or not... Uh, that's debatable. But Speak. I want to make sure that I've got at least one casting of this. Probably two. Because, like I said... Why may I not rest at this time? Yes. Thank you. Okay, because like I said, this this fight gets a bit annoying. So speak. Make sure you've got that. I agree. We're gonna go ahead and on my own. Pop back to our little pocket plane here and do the final quest, and then we have to go destroy it. So uh, that's a bit awkward, but no big deal. Uh, we didn't really get any loot for dealing with that crap, so that kind of boring, but... Well, let's see what everyone has to say over here. Yeah. You should not have come to this place. Okay. There will be only the throne of ball, but you will not defeat me, for I am the rebel. Well, I wouldn't be so confident yes. about that if I were you. Just gonna throw that out there. Yes. Uh, do we have any yes. taste on anybody? Maybe you should put that on it? yourself. Maybe you should Certainly. come running over here. Put that on there. All right. Now, this fight can be a bit annoying, it? but it's not too bad. Uh, what, what just happened? Speak. What just happened? Speak. Without doubt. Here, please. Alright. Ravager yes. again. Yeah, you basically just have to keep dispelling this crap every, every once in a while what here. Without you know, doubt. You'll have to run away from bone blades. I think those are just more than kind of swords, but. Yeah, a bit annoying, but nothing we can't handle. Yes, Certainly nothing. It will be done. Nothing scary there. I kind of wish that as you were killing him, you got more powers, but really you we were already kind of kind of taxed in that regard, so 
Eh, what is so it? Bad. Certainly. Anyways, uh, well, this is probably gonna be the second to last chapter. We've only gotta kill Melisod, and then we're good to go. So, I think I'm gonna do that in the next part, viewers. It's gonna be the grand finale of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2: A Speak. Young Gamer's Illustrated Primer. Doubt. See you next time.